bunch of women, and they said that Donald Trump was, or they thought that Donald Trump was ordained by God to become president of the United States. And um, they would, they would vote for him again and again. This, to me, was astounding. Uh, I wanted to go to one other point, Reverend, uh, which you have been emphasizing uh, about the gunning down of black men willy-nilly uh, across the nation. In the Washington Post, and the young lady who is from Washington should, if she can get a hold of this article, they have an editorial called Black Man Down. Uh, a scenario goes through the, the unabated uh, f- frequency of a black man getting shot almost every day uh, based on uh, and 24 hours after Clark was shot in California, a man by the name of Danny Ray Thomas was shot in Houston, Texas, uh, unarmed, both unarmed. Uh, and there's a long history, Reverend, uh, and young lady, uh, a black man being shot down uh, be, uh, be unarmed with a cell phone, uh, with a stick, with anything. Francis Kress Weldon has done, Weldon has done a study on this, long standing. Uh, there's a gentleman in our area called A. Dwight Pettit, uh, who is a, has a book out called Under the Color of Law. And the first thing, Reverend, that they have developed is gun, gun, gun. That's the training from the FOP, so that you can say that your life was in danger. No, this is, this is something that, and thank you for your call, this is something that, uh, Tiffany, we've seen over and over again, which is why when we finally started moving with a commission to deal with changing police laws under President Obama, we were headed in the right direction, and of course, we would have had to change it into legislation, which you would have had to have the Congress to do to make it federal law. This is the only way you're going to have some level of permanence, because you've got to be able to supersede state laws, and that is with federal law. For example, today, as I said in the opening, the uh, Attorney General of Louisiana announced he's not prosecuting the police that killed Alton Sterling. No real surprise to many of us that watched that case and were involved. I was in Baton Rouge, in fact, spoke at Alton Sterling's funeral. But at the same time, now the Attorney General in California announced less than an hour ago that he's going to be the independent uh, prosecutor investigating the case that we're going out to Sacramento Thursday to deal with. Uh, uh, and, And does not mean, let me say this, it does not mean that He's going to indict in the Clark case, but he's taking the case. So, again, you're going state by state. We need federal law. That's why these midterm elections are important. And that is why our voting is important. So people will sit back and say, what are they going to do now? Shopping, what y'all going to do? No, what are you going to do? Are we going to bring in lawmakers that will change the laws, whether it's gun laws, whether it's police laws, because uh, uh, Brother Carlos is right. There are police trainings that tell them immediately say your life was in danger, gun, 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 as he said. And you need a law to say that is against federal law. You can't train that way. And that you need to have more than your imagination to establish a fatality by police. That needs to be law, Tiffany. It's uh, it's really bad, and it's, you know I think we've all maybe not you because you're, you live and breathe this fight every single day. But I, I know when I talk to some people uh, and I say, "Oh, did you hear what happened in the Alton Sterling case?" or do you know the latest in the Stephon Clark case? And people have to say, "Wait, which one is that?" It's ridiculously bad, and I, I know Rev that you are entrenched in this fight. Um, I'm going to be watching when you uh, deliver the eulogy. Um, at Stefan Clark's funeral um, this week. And it's just, it's heartbreaking, it's gut-wrenching. And I I hope, you know, I imagine that people who are listening to your show already have a basic understanding. But I hope people who don't understand that 
when we see these images time and time again, and we see the flaws within the um, police department, as we saw Stephon Clark, they muted their body cameras. I mean, we can put body cameras on officers. I do think that's one small step. Um, but so far, all it's given us is a better view of black and brown people being executed by police. So uh, I think until we change hearts and minds, until people look at uh, a, a, a a white person uh, in a business suit and a black person in a business suit, some khakis, a hoodie or whatever, and realize that his life matters just as much as that black person, that unfortunately we'll continue to see this. And when we have a justice department that just uh, uh, obliterates the um, Office of Civil Rights and we have an attorney general right. who um, has made it very clear his stance on these. I mean, he has been um, a champion of police um you know, being hard on criminals and, and just like that, bringing back mandatory minimums. And you have a president who stands on the podium and says, let's kill drug dealers. I mean, all of these things uh, are, are dog whistle. I mean, if we understand the coded language, that means target black and brown people and we've got your back. That's what the rest of the country hears. Aside from these Blue Lives Matter fake patriots, the rest of us, we see right through it. We hear what you're saying. And it's a problem. And this is why elections matter. And I know I said this on the show before, Rev, but for a lot of people who are out here protesting, please be involved in your local politics because frequently these sheriff positions are elected positions. And so if you're not involved at the local level and stop waiting around for to see what Rev is going to do on where he's speaking and or what he's talking about at, at the House of Justice, um, but you pick up arms and you decide, um, you know, I'm going to you know, take my weapons to the voting booth. That That's my, my biggest, you know, uh, uh, fight back against this kind of policy and these things that are happening. Or if you can, get out and canvas or write a $50 check to a candidate or write a check to the candidate's opponent who doesn't believe in, in what you do. But it, it does take all of us. It has to be a collective effort at the state, local, and federal level. And we must... See, one of the reasons why I connected the voting and the lawmakers to federal law is so people understand why they're voting. Because, for example, when we got the uh, cameras on police, and as I said, we needed to go forward with law, in the law, it should be a felony for policemen then to mess with the camera, to be able to say, turn off the sound. You need law for that. The reason they can play with it is because they're operating under state, not federal law, which is where we were going to go and push that commission that President Obama started going forward. we got to understand this is all interrelated, and that's what the right wing did. They understood what they were dealing with and got into the intricacies of the law and started reversing things while we were distracted. Let's go to Baltimore, WOLB 1010 to Allen. Allen, you're on Keeping It Real with Al Shopton and Tiffany Cross. How you doing? Uh, what the night, Tina? I'm sorry, I didn't get to know that. Tiffany Cross, yeah. You know who's the most powerful man? And when he uh, became the first uh, uh, male African-American attorney general, he said, let's talk about race. And everybody said, oh, you're cowering him down. And you and know in California, there's a very attractive lady named Kamala Harris. She ought to beat the drum said state, uh, because she was a state's attorney. I'm saying that the citizen want to vote. We know Trump is a uh, ruthless because he put uh, Jeff Sessions over there. This is what I'm saying. How come black folks can't get together? Eric Holder for president. If uh, if Kamala Harris doesn't want to be the VP, she can be our attorney general. We're talking about laws. I don't know law. I didn't make it law. My emotion is almost about to uh, almost about to erupt too. I'm saying this guy got shot in the backyard in Sacramento. 